Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. Yes, again, sitting inside because outside, I don't know if you can see it, again, a lot of snow and white air. Today, a very cool TA video with amazing charts. And at the end, I also have a short video to show you something really cool for the Bitcoin family. Now, let's quickly jump into the charts. Bam. <music> This is the first one, guys. This is, as you know, the Oryx platform um, where we have the BAM BAM indicator for our chart. The BAM gave a long. Let's see, because something really strange happened over here. I'm going to check what happened. Um, so the BAM was not deciding as the yellow stepping line was going like very flat. And then here it was starting to build in short. But at the bottom we could see there was a lot of green, so that was not really short. And then there came a long, and it was above the yellow stepping line. The moment a long appears above the yellow stepping line, it is very important you look to the bottom and to see what this one is doing. We see that it already crossed over here, so that is positive. It's above the gray line, and you can see the gray line trending up. And then we look to the bottom, and then we see that at the moment, before even the red and the green flag, we have a huge green hill. We have the green line on top, and that is very positive. That is a moment you should be taking that long. Um, if you would have taken the long, that would have been a profit on a four-hour trial. Let's say you would have stepped in on the end until, yeah, if you would be still in, 2.6%. If you would have been placing a stop out somewhere here, a sell order at the top of the Bollinger Band at 41, then you would have already had 4.1%. Uh, that depends on your strategy, but really nice from the BAM BAM indicator. If we zoom out, um, this chart showed it a few times this week. Yes, we kept support. Yes, the target for me is here, the top line of 45K. Um, this gray line and then after that we go to the 200 moving average on the weekly at 48 over here um here on the week chart we still see the same the long again i just want to share it again because it is very important that this candle is going to close above this yellow stepping line if this one won't maybe the next one one will but that in my opinion is very important but because the moment we close these candles above that yellow stepping line for me as a confirmation on the weekly that we will go up way higher till maybe here a 63k or something because that is not the top of that bollinger band <coughs> breathe diddy maybe some tea hmm um the gaussian channel five day channel five day chart i need to say every candle is five days looking good as well we uh, kept support this candle needs to close in four days and 16 hours um, if we candle uh, if this candle closes above the opening then it becomes a green candle and that is exactly what we need at the moment a green candle to uh, touch that 47,000, that midline here of the gaussian channel and try to break that then we will break it probably but mostly what we will see then if we will break that one we will find a retest of it again and then try to break the next one something like that really bad drawing diddy uh, on the monthly guys same story we need to um, we need to close the candle above that orange line the 12 monthly moving average 45k that's 46k almost is the important level to break at the moment we are at uh, 41k around 41k when we close above this orange line then i think the fire is on be aware on the bottom we can see that the macd is not very positive as we had the third red month over here which is not a very positive sign and the rsi was rejected over here and uh, we still need to test that downward trend line again here to see if we can break it and if we break it um, then this one will start to turn greenish again and this one will probably be above that orange line now um, some really cool other informational charts that are these i told you in a tweet uh, that 1.2 billion worth of Bitcoin left Coinbase in a week. The liquid supply shock ratio shows a meaningful rise over the past week. This means that the repositioned coins have actually been moved to wallets that have no history of spending. So these are going into the hodl wallets that, uh, of, that are 
used by people to really hold all the bitcoins and don't spend them now and that is what we can see in these next charts over where do i need to go here somewhere yes this one um because it's very important to understand what is happening at the moment as it's huge because if you look at this chart you can see that at this period here 6.1 percent of all the bitcoin circulating supply had changed hands so switch from wallets that was between 3k to 4.5k that was around the COVID crash now this event is happening again but now it's 7.35 percent of the circulating supply is changing hands between the level of 38 and 39k in bitcoin and it's like because of the macro uncertainty the war the COVID, all that stuff um, is happening these events don't happen often, but when they happen, they don't change hands to people that want to sell. They change hands to people that even want to hold longer. And that is what we can see exactly playing out on this chart. The supply that was last active one or more years ago is now above 60%. So that's a lot of supply in the Bitcoin chain that hasn't been active for over a year. And if we look to for over two years, we can see that's around 43%, I think. And if we look to over here uh, uh, three years, that is still 39%, I think, 38%. So 38% of the Bitcoin supply hasn't been active for three or more years and if we go down here we can see that five plus years is somewhere around the 30 percent no i'm 25 percent, 23 percent i think correctly so around 33 percent of the bitcoin supply hasn't moved over five years this number in my opinion is going to increase because more smart money is entering the market more institutional investors as understand the power of bitcoin store of value the 21st century of gold all the people that exit now these markets that are very dangerous to stay in um, and you know in russia in ukraine in canada and all other countries where they can freeze your bank accounts and they will hedge their capital poly into bitcoin and just huddle it because they will use it to stake or whatever they want to do with it and receive even rewards for that staking and thus interest on their capital so really interesting charts these are going to shift in uh, tremendously i think in the next couple of weeks years uh, to come now one more chart that is this one over here this is the bitcoin compound annual growth rate this one is also showing you why it's very important to huddle bitcoin long time long time happy long time like the masseuse is always say in thailand i will make you happy long time now i can tell you bitcoin made me happy long time now yes if you hold bitcoin at the moment for one year you are in loss but for two years the average um, compound annual growth rate was 174 percent and for if you hold it three years 115 percent on average 47 99 76 100 just check them the people that have been hodling for over 11 years have an average compound annual growth rate of 164 percent that's a lot of growth each year and yes the growth are decreasing a little bit but still if you can have an average of 100 percent annual growth that is massive that is why you need to store your capital in bitcoin yes you could be down after a year but maybe you would be massively up after two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven years. And that is the mindset that you should have. It's not a short term just investment. Short term is the playful trading you do. Long term, you huddle. And that's what you show over here. Now, there is one more thing I need to show you guys, and that is this one, guys. And um, let's take a look because I want to um, welcome you to the new Bitcoin Family Clubhouse in the metaverse of blockchain value virtual let's have a look around in this one guys and um, it looks really awesome look 
we go in through the door uh, beneath the Bitcoin family logo, of course, and then we get into the hall where a lot of our NFTs are displayed. This is the Bitcoin family, big one over there. Um, yeah, you know, we will sh change these NFTs in, the, in, in time, uh, but just to give you an overview how this whole beautiful building is going to look with our own NFTs that are held by the Bitcoin family, but by the complete Bitcoin family. So that's a Satoshi's goal, that's a FUD from Cryptoland. This is Ice-T, this is my own Dutch uh, <laughs> crypto punk. Uh, really cool. In this uh, beautiful building, we will be able to meet and uh, talk to each other as an avatar and have some really cool uh, sessions, you know, uh, Bitcoin family member sessions. And when we go into the basement, we again will find the recording space for all the videos. Really cool. Look at the Bitcoin family logos. Uh, who's going to be on the seat next to me that I will be interviewing? <laughs> Let's see in the future. But I just really like how this one is playing out, guys. Now, I hope you really enjoyed it as well. If you want to see more pictures, go to the Discord channel because there is some more pictures of this beautiful building. If you are an NFT and you want to be in one of the paintings in my beautiful Bitcoin family house, the direct message me maybe we can make a beautiful deal guys i hope you really enjoyed this video if you did enjoy the video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and leave a comment what do you think about all the charts and all that other stuff and what do you think about the fact that even when we are in spain we eat dutch hagelslag on our bread now thanks for watching and see you next time guys Bye.